Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me again in Meeple Station. Today, we will be checking out the second tutorial mission here, and we're going to be doing utilities. So I will see you on the other side of the load screen. All right, we have loaded back in, and our friend here, who looks like a general, has more commands for us. So you've come to learn about utilities. Hey, well, I think I can teach you a few things. Yes, please. Utilities are the are all of the on-scene cables and pipes that connect furniture and modules together, such as water, power, and ventilation. Go on. I'm going to show you how utilities work and how to properly supply your station with all of its needs. But first, let's take a look at the utility view. Okay, so we're going to go to the utility screen here. Uh, now, with your utility view open, you can see all the previously hidden lines connecting your station. Each color represents a different type of utility. That makes sense. It looks a bit messy at the moment, but we can choose to view only one channel by selecting one of the buttons on top. Click on the ventilation line. So we're going to click on, oops, click on the oxygen. Now you'll only see the ventilation line that supplies oxygen. This one is the most important channels. How does it work? Your life support system will consume ice and create oxygen. The oxygen gets stored in tanks, but you need to also create vents to output the oxygen into rooms. Oh, I see. A utility line is simply a circuit. It's like a container and only the objects connected to it have access to the contents. In this case, it's a container for oxygen and your vents need to connect in order to do their jobs. That does make total sense indeed. One of the rooms has been disconnected. You'll need to reconnect it before the oxygen supply runs out. Let's do that now. All right, so there is the missing oxygen ventilation pipe. So we've got that connected. We will see, uh, where's our engineer? Here he is. Um, Salami? Was that the name? I didn't quite catch it. Looks like Salami put the pipe in for us. Problem solved. Oxygen will now replenish in the newly connected room. Phew. But that's not all. We have lots of other channels. One in particular is waste. The poop line. Yuck. Yes, yes, it's disgusting, but it's fairly important. Take the bathroom, for example. If those aren't connected to the waste ejectors, we could have a very stinky accident. Oh, wait. Speaking of which, they're not connected. Better fix that quickly. Uh-oh. All right. So we need to connect the poo line, and we're going to drop ourselves a waste pipe there. And Salami is going to come and hook that up to the waste ejectors. Thank my bull nugget that didn't end in disaster. Nothing's worse than an outbreak of a never mind. Now let's take a look at power, one of the core utilities. That sounds good indeed. Power is essential for most modules. You can identify it as blue channel. We will need solar panels to create power and power cells to store it. Speaking of which, we should use another one. What should I do? Build another power cell. If you build it adjacent or on top of the existing power line, it will automatically connect. All right, so we need to go to the build menu, go to power. We're going to grab the battery here, and it looks like we're going to slap it right there, and they will come up and build that for us, and we will get our power all connected here. Or excuse me, a battery connected, and then we'll have to probably connect our power system. That should do it for now. We have a more urgent problem to attend to. Oh, no! Some fool forgot to connect the other half of our solar panel to the main power line. We need to fix that so we don't run out of power. You'll need to connect a power line outside, though. Fortunately, rigging can also hold utility lines. You'll need to connect power through one of them to attach to these solar panels. I am on it. All right, so let's go ahead and select the power. And we're going to go ahead and put one there, and we'll put one there. Just to build a little redundancy in the system, you'd hate for one of these to break and then have no power, so if we've got both connected, we're good to go. Excellent. That will help us get power to our refineries and smelters. Yeah! Unfortunately, man, this guy just like has bad news after bad news. You'd think for a space station, we would put a lot more effort into it before we uh, put it up in space. Unfortunately, this is the end of the utility tutorial. You can learn more about production in the next tutorial. Does this mean, yep, ha, 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 enjoy the meteor shower. Oh, poop. All right, so I will let those meteors come in and, oh, there goes someone flying off into space again. We will let the meteors come in and destroy the rest of the space station. So in this episode, we learned a little bit about utilities. Just to review, we have air, regular power, advanced power, water, poop, 
and fuel. So those are the six utilities you have to be concerned about as you build your space station. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like this video. Comment on down below, both on audio quality, commentary quality, things like that, the production side of the video, and Meeple Station in and of itself. If you're playing a, a space station, what's going right, what's going wrong for your station. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next Meeple Station video.